Hey everyone, it is Velvet. Welcome back to more Castlevania Aria of the Sorrow. Aria of the Sorrow, yep, that's the name of the game. Um, in the last one, we made it here to... I have forgotten what this area is called, but we're here! Uh, <laughs> and we defeated the Headhunter boss. Also, I have learned something. Uh, I've learned that the luck stat is functionally useless in this game. Um, like, it has an effect, but the effect is completely negligible. Um, so, screw the lucky charm. We're just gonna use whatever gives us the most defense or attack, which in this case is the heart pendant. It, like, Increases your odds of getting stuff by like 0.01% or something ridiculously low, so it doesn't matter. Uh, in which case, do I want strength or headhunter? 64, 40. And this one keeps. I'll go with Minotaur for now. I feel like the increase in attack is much more useful, but the Headhunter Soul, I definitely see getting ridiculously powerful. Um, hey, Durga. Get out of my way, thank you. But yeah, I don't know if. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I don't know if the luck stat being like that is a bug. Hmm. Or if that is by design. But regardless, the <laughs> that's so weird. Um, I wonder if you need a specific soul for that. Or maybe I just need something that is fast. So it activates any time I attack or if it sees me. Um, and it doesn't look like my attack interrupts what it's doing. Let's go back to Skull Archer for now. So I probably need like a soul that makes me invisible or stops time of my own. So we'll, we'll come back to that. But yeah, I don't know if it's a bug or if that's by design that luck is useless, but luck is useless. Apparently, it's just as useless in Harmony of Dissonance. So, it's... Unfortunately, likely that that is by design. Which is an interesting choice. Did the cat she transformed into deal damage? God, that's such a big fireball. It does. Does that mean... Does that mean I can attack the cat? Do I need to, to defeat the cat soul to... That doesn't look like it. It looks like the cat is just like a last ditch effort to deal damage. <laughs> you outrange me! How dare! Oh, hello. Uh... I'm, I'm scared of enemies with... Oh, Valkyrie. I'm scared of enemies with wings ever since Circle of the Moon had that one devil enemy that just, like, obliterates you. That's gonna come back across the floor. But looks like the Valkyrie is nothing to worry about. I suspect this is leading me to... Dracula's Seat. Though I don't know that I'll be able to do anything there this early in the game. If anything, it'll be a bad ending. But still, let's get hit by a saw blade and find out. Oop, <laughs> that's still activated when he dies. What is with all of these places that I can jump up to and Hang in. Can't do anything with the the rope, even though it flashes red. Okay. Uh, let's let's let him do his thing for now, and now we'll get in close. 
Oh, I guess I can go here. Uh, Ndeen. Um, walk on water surfaces. Okay. Is that ability? No. This, this will be a soul that I equip. So I can go back down to the, the bottom areas that I've been unable to do anything about for a little bit. That's pretty awesome. But for now, we'll see what else is up here. Hunting. Okay, that looked like it was coated with poison. Yeah, poison secreting sword. Let's look at the, the partisan, because we got one of those too. Spear with an extra wide tip. Bit slow for my liking, but it has range and damage, so we'll, we'll keep it in mind. Oh, I like that speed and range, and it's poison, so this might help us. Yeah, we'll keep this. For now. Maybe against bosses where I can get in close, I'll re-equip the, the hunting dagger. Or the combat knife, rather. Uh, and maybe against enemies where I need the range, I'll equip the partisan. But for now, I like this. I also just like it aesthetically. Just the beam... Or, like, flame sword aesthetic, I guess. That's pretty alright. <laughs> alright. Uh, let's go back to the save room just because of the health I've lost. Mostly against the witch. And we'll... Uh, continue on after that. I wonder, do the <laughs> do the important souls that they must, because, especially because I can equip. Where can I equip Undin? Probably here. Yeah, yeah, that must contribute to Headhunter because it's in my soul list. But I wonder if these souls do. Probably not. But. I'd be curious to know for sure. Right, I forgot that cat still hurts you. Yeah. And I guess that room is the witch grind soul location, more or less. I won't grind for it right now, because I think I'll probably... I know there is a way to increase your soul hunting chances, so I'll probably wait until I have that to do anything like that. Uh, mirror rooms. I'm probably gonna walk by a mirror and an enemy will yeah, come out behind me like that. The Kyoma Demon. Come on. Is there nothing else in here? Is this just to get the Kyoma Demon? Because my reflection is back. No hidden wall. Well, of course there's no hidden wall. It leads directly into another room. Alright. I guess, again, once I'm in, in soul hunting mode, I guess I come back here for that, right? Oh, and you needed the... The Undine soul to continue on in this direction anyway. Alright, let, let's switch it off, though, because that's a soul that does nothing for me passively. So there's no reason to keep its passive on. But rather, we keep the Minotaur soul on so we can continue to just obliterate most things. This is a bit of an unfortunate enemy layout. I wanted to get through without taking damage, but... Oh well. There we go. Uh, left or down? Looks like there's more. There's a lot of stuff down, so let's go to the left and fight Persephone. Another mirror room, so we're probably gonna get another. Was it Kyoma Demon? Yeah. Hey, buddy. I, 
I suspected this trick a mile away. There's no reason to create a reflection uh, effect in a, a game like this, especially when you have like memory capacity limitations, unless there's an enemy tied to it. Oh, we can warp back and go downstairs now if we like. Um, I figure these two paths are going to connect, though. That's what it's looking like it's doing. So we'll connect that map and then go back down momentarily. Look at the mirror, asshole. Poor Persephone is not even getting enough time to get her kicks in. This is just another one of those enemies where I'm like, I'm so curious <laughs> as to what her soul does. What is that, Lilith? That makes sense. The original Succubus. There's just a lot of women in this room. And all of them want me dead. I'm so very sorry. I'm sorry, women. Was there really nothing else at the end of that... that hallway? I guess if you just want to farm Lilith souls, that's where you go. Um, we got a witch. Yeah, these paths definitely connect, and this one might also connect to the same door that we're on our way to. Yeah, yeah, that's looking like it's gonna be. So, how about we just circle around and fill in all the map along the way, or all that we can. Top floor. Uh, I'm no longer confident that this circles around in the way that I want it to. Oh, yeah, it does. There's just uh, <laughs> a place here that I cannot go to yet. The music goes off, however. And we're back into the more iconic music. Uh, maybe falling all the way down wasn't my best choice. Yeah, because I, I cannot go back up this way uh, with my current ability set. So, uh, whoops. Not the biggest deal. We're very close to the other side of that passage, so hopefully our double jump will get us something on that side. And if not, I will... Where will I go? Because I want to fill that in. I'll figure it out. I might put off filling it in for now if it's simply faster to just go to another location. That all depends on if Double Jump helps me out here. Did I not go down this path earlier? It didn't look like... Maybe I needed Double Jump to get up here, but it didn't look like there was anything particularly uh, inaccessible about this. Weird. Okay, remember that there is armor here that I absolutely can't get to unless there's like a block I can push down or something, but it doesn't look like it. We need verticality. This 
scarf. It's probably an accessory, right? More defense. We'll take it. Because again, as established, luck is useless. So taking a one point hit to luck for an extra one point of defense. Very nice. And here we get the copper plate. Uh, oh, I'd rather keep the attack. And so this doesn't connect up here, so I do have to go around or go to a warp point. That's a shame. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We'll come back to it. It's probably faster just to go back, go down to where the game is leading me now with the Undine Soul. So we'll go down there. Uh, this is not the way forward. Oh wow, the arrow doesn't kill him. Okay. Does slide deal damage at all? It does, at about half damage, okay. So it's not currently viable for like just eating through, eating, for just passing through enemies. Oh, I might be able to go, go up there if I have the, Keep going to the equip menu. If I have the flying armor, what button was that? That one. So if I do... That's totally possible. I just have to get my jump arcs correct. Yeah, I'm letting myself fall too much, I think. But I think that's definitely possible. If we get to the roof, there we go. All right. No more, no more regrets leaving this location if I can do that. Hey, Persephone. Hey, Killer Doll. Yeah, I'm, I'm just here to fill in what I missed of the map. Yokoso. <laughs> nice kick. Hi, Lilith. Okay, so you charge and you dodge. Mind up, okay. And that's all that's down here. That empty square next to us is suspicious. I really don't trust that. Looks like the fastest way to figure out if there's any way into that square is by exiting the area. Oh, yo, another scarf! Did you knit that just for me, Persephone? Thank you so much. Let's go and just check. Check the wall. Mm, unless there's one up where that armor is or on the floor above it. I guess not. 
Duly noted. All right, well, nothing to it now. Let's go in advance and see where Undine takes us. Okay, so we have two options. The map that's grayed out and the map that hasn't been unlocked yet. Get out of here. Uh, one's closer than the other, so we'll we'll go to the map that's grayed out. Because again, because it's closer. We're just chasing this thing down the stairs. I think it's despawned at this point. No, it hasn't. Uh, but now it is trapped, and that's very easy to kill. Yeah, we'll, we'll use the save point here. We'll go a little bit further, because I don't feel like I've accomplished much of value. Oh, we already have the bat soul. But hey, one more one more tick towards the, the headhunter. I know one of the entrances here, I believe, needs us to go under the water. Yeah. So, that will have to be put off for a while, but what do we got up here? What is with these little places that you can just stand in? Alright, new area. The floating garden. Hmm. Well, oh hey, a cockatrice. Probably turns me to slow, a Sloan Stone if I get hit by its beam. This looks like... Oh, that's just a pillar. Never mind. I was about to say, it looks like something where if I go underwater, I can just dash down. I remember you from... Symphony of the Night. And I remember you being a bit annoying. And I think I remember correctly. But I have projectiles now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll stop here. We've we've seen our objective. We we know where we're going next. We have information. So Thank you so very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. In the next one, we're exploring the Florida Gardens. Please consider subscribing and leaving a like on the way out and all that. And until next time...